one. <coughs> Shalom to everyone. We will make today a few interesting, interesting shiurim that will prepare for month of Elu, some halachot, some nice chidushim, and uh, beautiful Zera Shimshon. Shiur will be today as well. Leilu Nishmat, our dear, dear, dear friend, brother, uh, Talmid Chacham, Chazan, professional Chazan, Rahmat uh, Kuna, Rabbi Daniel, Ben Miriam, Roch Hashem, Tenechenu Baganeden, and also his father in law, Molo Rovem Ben Burcha, Roch Hashem, Tenechenu Baganeden, and also the grandfather of Rav Moshe Tzadikov, Leilu Nishmat, Moshe Ben Shoshana. I believe today is already two years ago how I passed away. Uh, you were in Slavia in Israel, right? I wasn't at Slavia, I was there before, right before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, I'll tell you, Rahmat Kuna, your grandfather was a good man. He was Sadiq. You know, you came many times, you told me, Rama, I feel he's sick. Then he told me he's really sick. He got diagnosis and this and that. Your mother went and she came back, then he passed away. Amen. 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 <coughs> now regarding Rabbi Daniel, Rabbi Daniel, he, as soon as he came to New York and uh, was working in Bed Gabriel, I know for many years, then we opened Shul, then he prayed with us many times. He made even Roy's Bar Mitzvah here. Roy's Shabbat Bar Mitzvah was here. Ah, yeah? yeah. The week before that, we were week there. before, and I remember you were singing with him uh, Nishmat here also. Week yes, <coughs> a week before, but Baruch Hashem, uh, he raised a good family. He has good kids, wife Eshet Chayil. You know, anything your father wished, your mother supported him. That's the great thing about your parents. Okay, and listen, uh, we don't know when people come to this world, when people leave from this world, how people come, how people leave. But we know one thing, we know one thing, every person has to live his day as if it's his last day. When you live your day as if it's your last day, you're not going to make mistakes. Somebody let you give a speech, you're going to speak from the bottom of your heart. Why? Maybe this is your last speech in your life, you know. Uh, you do chesed, you do from the bottom of your heart. This is who was your father. But Gabriel, anything they asked him to do, he did from the bottom of his heart. Besides praying and learning and teaching and learning and uh, organizing shurim, Ruach Hashem Tenechenu Baganeden. He was shocked to us within two, three months. He was like, passed away suddenly. It's painful. But uh, as he lived his life, how he's buried, where he's buried, people can wish for it. You go to Givat Shaul Yerushalayim, 20 steps from the bus stop, he's a scammer, you know. People wish for this today. Today you cannot find for $50,000 such a camera. You know, it's Chaval, but Ruach Hashem Tenechenu Baganeden. His name is life. His kids are keeping his legacy up. You know, Roy, till today you were Chazan with us, you pray with us, you learn with us, you learn, continue with us. Yes, the night you came for Slichot. You do Chesed, your brother Avram does a lot of Chesed. Your sisters do Chesed, your Domots, your mother. Hashem should give you bracha vaslacha, console the family, and always, always we should hear Basoro Tovot from you. Special mazato from our entire shul for your daughter. One more time, you became Bobo, okay? And Adele, right? Beautiful name. She should become big tzedeket and bring nacha to your parents, and parents, and grandparents, and everybody around them should live a long, long life, healthy and happy. Amen. Thank you. Okay, now I would like to speak with you a little bit. Uh, today, it's a unique shiur. Make sure you, you, you record this. This sefer is called Hechale Shen. This sefer today, for my last week's birthday, Rabbi Michael Amino gave me as a present. So he gave me as a present. I want to give him a present. I want to give the Divina a little bit from this sefer. And it's a new book. And new Divrei Torah, okay? You cannot say, oh, I heard the shoe yesterday. It's not. It's new. Okay? So, I want to say this in the Zuchud of Rabbi Michael Amino and his entire family. You know, we're growing Torah and Mitzvot and Maasim to him together. May we continue growing. It says, Shoftim v'shoterim titen lecha b'chol she'arecha. 
judges and officers you should put to yourself in every gate of yourself until here till today we say every year how many gates you have seven gates two ears two eyes two nose one mouth put judges over there put officers tell your ears ah la shonara i don't hear sing bad things i don't want to hear gemara yoma will talk about it when you start seeing causes etc to control your body and then takes over your body you know gemara yoma says hirure avera kashim avera in page 29a and then it says in sota cheta mudalef 8a it says etc sholet alma she enam lo od Yetzera rules over to wherever your eyes see. Wherever your eyes see, Yetzera grabs and starts ruling over. So if you control your eyes, you don't let him rule over nothing. You know, simple. So therefore, shotrim ve shotrim, shotrim ve shoftim ve shotrim, you have to give uh, judges and officers on your ears, on your eyes, on your nose, and on your mouth. Once you have that, you have... We spoke about seven gates. Seven gates like seven lights of the menorah in Beit HaMikdash. Your face resembles menorah of Rabbi Nathaniel Baruchim Abayim Beit HaMikdash. Okay. Kol demar she ba'olam mitchalek l'shlosha bechinot. The whole world has three categories. Olam, Shana, Nefesh. World, Year, Soul. World is Olam, Mil, the world. What's the year? Day of Rosh Hashanah, Day of Yom Kippur. Who's the soul? Kohen Gadol. Kohen Gadol comes that moment he has to go to Kodesh Kodashim inside. It's the world, in this world, has to be in this world, cannot be in different worlds, right? Time period, which is Yom Kippur Day. And then the soul Kohen Gadol. You need three things. To enter to any of this, you need to enter the gate. The whole process of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur is entering the house. To enter the house, you have first outside gate. You go to the outside gate, then you have steps. How do you go to your house? Check, you have gate outside, right? Tells you, oh, no more street, now you're going to my house. Then you have Chavli after the gate, your front yard. Then you have steps, and then you have second gate. So everything in life has gates. Any prayer you pray in this world, your prayer goes through the gates. No prayer goes right away from you to Shamaim right away. No, no, no. It goes one step. Kotel Maravi. Malach takes it there first. And then from there it goes to different gate. Goes then, 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 then. And goes to Shamaim. Everything in life has gates. As Yaakov Inu said. What did Yaakov Inu say? He was sleeping. Remember he fell asleep in a place where Kodesh Kodeshim Haram Moriah. said, Vizisha'ar HaShamaim. He said, oh, I didn't know this is Hashem's house. And this is the gate of Shammai. So from here we know, Hara Moria, or today we say Kotel Maravi, or place of Beit HaMikdash, is a gate of Shammai. New Year itself has also gates. A person... Question to you, question, you know. You like mashalim, I'll give you beautiful mashal. You came out from your car, from the street, and somehow you don't want to go to the gate, but you want to enter to our house. How is it going to happen? Can it happen? Teleportation. Huh? Mm-hmm. You came out of the car from your house, from your car, in the street. <coughs> you, 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 you don't want to go to the gate, to the steps, but you somehow want to enter the house. How is it going to happen? Is it possible? Can you just hey, jump? No. You need gate. Gate one, steps. Gate two, then gate three, right? And then you go into the house. 
same thing. You will never be able to go to Rosh Hashanah if you didn't have gate one. What gate one? Chodesh Elul. Chodesh Elul teaches you take your heart, evaluate, see what you did right, what you did wrong, where did you look, where you didn't look, what did you hear, what you didn't hear, calculate everything. Slichot. Make lunge to your heart, to your brain, to your eyes, to your soul, to your kidneys. Kidneys help you to think, right? And then, now you're ready for the next gate. What's the next gate? Next gate called Rosh Hashanah. That also has gates. Then, then you have gate number three. Asara Emet Shuva. Then you have gate number four. Yom Kippur. Today, I learned something crazy. R- Rav Moshe likes this stuff. <coughs> Can you translate to me? Veshavta Ad Hashem Elokecha. By, uh, by God. Return to your God, to your God right? Okay. Can't the chidush that you're gonna enjoy, huh? You see me? Ready? The chida, Rabbi Chaim Yosef David Azulai says. No, we shout out Hashem and the That's good. That simple translation, good. Let's get deep to this. We shout it means to tell you the Shabbat. Had. <coughs> Hashem Elokecha. What's Hashem Elokecha? Rosh Hashanah. I say, Hashem, you my God, and I'm your servant. The Shabbat before Rosh Hashanah. Not Shabbat of Asada Yemet Shuvah. Shabbat before Rosh Hashanah. This Shabbat coming up. Yeah. This Shabbat coming up. If you keep Shabbat, we shout out Hashem Elokecha. Hashem says, all the Shabbatot in your life that you didn't keep 100%, I will consider that you kept it 100%. It's not Shabbat Yemet Shuvah. Shabbat Yemet Shuvah before Pesach, brother. That's a different mm-hmm. gate. This Shabbat, you keep this Shabbat. It has 52 Shabbat of this year and all the Shabbat of your life. For me, different. For you, different. Why? Because I had a little bit more Shabbat in my life than you. They had more Shabbat than me. Well, I don't have more Shabbat than everybody. Shabbat <laughs> huh? Not the Shabbat. See, that's Ariza. Okay. This is Hida. Arizal proves from different psukim. Chida proves from different psukim. So, shout out! Hashem Elokecha. Once you do that. So, this Shabbat, do not even think to take it lightly. This Shabbat is such a strong Shabbat coming up. Hashem will forgive you all the Shabbat on your love that you didn't give 100%. Let's go further. <coughs> what did David Amelot say? <coughs> In Tehillim 32, 6. Regarding this, every Hasid must pray. Please, don't be shy. Hashem, every Hasid will pray to you at the time of desire. What does that mean? What does that mean? Gemara brings many, many answers over there. In Gemara Brachot, page 8. Ubesfarim pirshu metzo lashon yitzi'ah. To find something, metzo, to find, there's also lashon yitzi'ah, to come out. Sh'adam tzadik nitpadev na kadosh vachu bet sh'yotzi mi madlega achad v'nichnas na madlega achedet. A person should pray any time he goes from one stage in life to second stage in life, he needs to pray, say thank you. You know, Rabbi Yitzchak Yeshua, you know, right? Mm-hmm. 24 years ago, we were immigrants. Mm-hmm. I came to Yeshua first time 25 years ago. I came to Yeshua first time, I was kind of bored. I didn't like, you know, when you don't know language, you don't have so much friends, you get bored. Today, people get bored from too many things, but we didn't have stuff, it was kind of boring. But then, we had everyday shacharit, five minute speech. Five minutes. And then we went to classes. Yeshiva, I was in 11, 12th grade. So he said something very smart. He said, question to you, he said. Why in the morning you wake up, you pray Brachot Modani, you read Korbanot Kaddish. Stop Baruch Shamar, through Baruch Kaddish. Shmona Yasser, finish Shmona Yasser Kaddish. Take out Sefer Torah Kaddish, after Sefer Torah Kaddish. Everything Kaddish. What's with Kaddish? He says, Hashem wants you it's different levels, you're right. But Hashem wants you to learn to say thank you everywhere you reach. 
You reach one step. Thank you, Hashem. You reach second step. Thank you, Hashem. You became bar mitzvah. Thank you, Hashem. You became chatan. Thank you, Hashem. Your wife expecting. Thank you, Hashem. She gave birth. Thank you, Hashem. Expecting second child. Thank you, Hashem. Give birth. Thank you, Hashem. You found job. Thank you, Hashem. You want a different job. Thank you, Hashem. You became a student in yeshiva kolel. Thank you, Hashem. You got a certain degree of rabbinical. Thank you, Hashem. You know. When you thank Hashem, Hashem gives you more. It gives you more. But unless you complain and complain, ah, it was hard time and this, Hashem doesn't like it. We say Baruch Hashem all the time, no? Baruch Hashem saying and saying really thank you, Hashem, from bottom of your heart. It's two different things. So, Sometimes people say Baruch Hashem as a habit. How you Baruch Hashem? Oh, you know my days. You just said Baruch Hashem. <laughs> Don't make this stuff as a habit. Once it's not a habit, you feel it. You grow. So basically, when a person goes from level to level, he says, Thank you, Hashem. Never in your life, stage one is like stage two. Stage three is like stage two. Stage four is like stage three. Anything you grow in life, be thankful. You know, sometimes, sometimes you have your baby is small. Hashem, please help my baby grow. Then you pray what? Find me a good school for them. Then you pray, find me a good shiduchim for them. You know, your child has a little bit hard time with shiduchim. You go, oh, what do you? No. Ten years ago, you prayed something else. Let him finish high school, Shachat Today, bring it to get me, So it's different stage already. Be thankful for this stage. Yeah. Hashem says, when you value, when you appreciate this stage, I'm going to make you on this stage happy. On this stage, I'm going to make you happy. So this is why realize everything in life is good. 20 years, you know what's funny? It's funny. I was 19 years old. I went to a certain shul, I don't remember. And the rabbi told me, whatever you need in life, write on the paper. I wrote 23 things on the papers. We were moving six, seven months ago, and one of my Sfarim, old Sfarim, I opened, I said, oh, what is he doing? I opened, and the paper fell down. I said, hey, hey I'm Yosef, a kilo of 19-year-old boy, and I, 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 I wrote everything. I, I usually write everything about it. It's crazy. Every, 90% Yushwas I went in my life to Yushwas, I still have papers with me. It's crazy. I, I go to Yushwas, 90% Yushwas, can you imagine 90%? 90% which was I went in my life, this my two weeks ago, last week, this three weeks ago. But 90% which was I go, I, I say Divre Torah, and in one side, Leilu Nishma, biography of person, second side, my Divre Torah, what I'm saying in Yeshua. And 90% of this I have with me, can you imagine? Sometimes I look and say, Ibi, I gave a speech to this man 10 years ago in Yeshua, today he's not around anymore. And I take a picture, sometimes I send to the family member, I say, look, your father was with me in Israel. He said, hey, keep that paper for me. I want to keep it. Like you know, it's crazy. But when I went over, I see Eb. Hashem helped me to finish high school successfully. Huh? Hashem helped me to get shkita license. Huh? I said, I want to be so fair. All this stuff I wrote, ninety percent Hashem answered. I said, Hashem, thank you. You are amazing. You are amazing. You know, this is life. Wasn't your effort also? Huh? Wasn't your effort also? Didn't come. Miraculously, you studied, learned, sat down, hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of people study, but sometimes it doesn't happen. You, of course you should study. You can't just be sleeping on the bed and say, I should, I want this, I want this. I should say, can I continue sleeping? You're going to get double. What do you mean? Of course. Of course you have to work hard. I mean, you have to do something. You have to break your head and learn. Even today... I had to prepare sure. No, I mean, I just cannot say whatever I said 15 years ago. Let me repeat again. No, you have to say there's something new. Every day your life has to be something new. Here's new sefer today. You got. Baruch Hashem, new life. Look what it says in here. <coughs> David Amalek says, "Month of Elul, increase your prayers." Say extra Tehillim, extra Alakha, learn, learn extra piece of Gemara, extra Musar, extra Divrei Torah, extra Midrash. So Gemara Brachot page 8a, Rabbi Yosef, I'm boring. 
אז זאת התפלל כל חסיד, רבי נתן אומר לעת מצו זו תורה. רבי נתן says, you have to pray at the time of finding, some say it's אישה, מצא אישה, מצא טוב. But רבי נתן says, לעת מצו at the time of finding what? תורה. Why? Because שנאמר כי מוצאי מצא חיים. Whoever found Torah in his life, he found life. Now Aaron Walkin, when he was giving Derasha al Shavuot, Zikron Leudacha, my Rebbe, he was giving Derasha al Shavuot, he said, when a kid does not know how to play basketball, it doesn't mean he's a kaleka, you know, like he's a, he's a how? Cripple. It doesn't mean that, because he knows how to play soccer. He doesn't play soccer, he doesn't play chess. He doesn't play, knows, knows uh, I don't know, other stuff. But a person doesn't want to learn Torah and he's proud that he's doing everything in life in life, he doesn't have a heartbeat. Because Torah says, Ki hu chayecha ve'orech yamecha. Torah is your life and is your long life. If there's no Torah and he's proud, he's proud to be like a dead meat. Problem. Why does it happen to my child? Some people say, why does it happen to my child? Question, stop, 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 stop. In your house, I took a sefer and dropped on the floor. Damn. How do you react? Eh, don't do that. Please pick up the book. I took your cell phone and I jumped. What are you doing? Your cell phone? You... Well, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. For cell phone, you dance? For cell phone, fell on the floor? Ah, just pick it up. Would you take a credit card and throw from one side of the street to second side of the street just you want to play it out. Would you do that? No, there's no money inside. Why you let your child to be in the middle of the street sometimes? You know? <laughs> Credit card? He <laughs> my heart. What about your child? <laughs> Would you value your child values? Would you value your child values? You value Torah, he will value yes. Torah. I had a bar mitzvah student. Rabbi Aaron, I don't say these stories late. sometimes. Listen, it's, it's something good. I had a mitzvah student. At 12 years ago, we just moved to this house. 12 years, 13 years ago. I remember. I had a bar mitzvah student. He came, the father came to the door over there. We had a porch, women's section. He came in. He was like, such a respect to Aaron Akodesh. I said, chutzpah me, chutzpah. I live in this house. I sometimes go, do, 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 do. Took the steps up, down, no respect. Look at this, how he has such a feel to the Torah. Guess what? Two weeks later, he started to come alone. Father couldn't come. He said, Laba, I cannot come. Can my son come? I said, sure, no Son goes through the door, goes like. I said, whoa, look at this. Wow. The way you value things, your child values things. Once you value those who learn Torah, those who represent Torah, those who are Torah, they will do that. Once you say, eh, hey, this is not well, why did I, that's not my thing. This is some RS, this is, your child will be doing this. And then, oi, why, why? Why? Because once there's no fear of rabbis, there's no fear of Hashem. Now, now, now the problem begins. Okay. Al zod it panel ko chasid la binata no med led metzoso Torah, shere me moce, ki moce matza chayim, hainuk shirts in, mishar le shar. When you all go from one gate to second gate, mimadigana madigat tzidikim, when you go from one stage to another stage in Torah, you need to pray to get that slacha. You know Baruch Kaziv? Who knows Baruch Kaziv? Baruch Kaziv? Rav Baruch Kaziv, yeah. He comes here, prays sometimes yes, in Brooklyn, yes, yeah? Sure, sure, sure. Today, today, I don't know what it is, but... Uh, so today he sent me, he said, Rabbi, I have a chidush. Huh? He came today, he went today to Gemara Betza. Siyum, they finished Siyum Gemara Betza, he was invited, and maybe he also finished Hazak Baruch. And said, the rabbi in this Siyum gave the Rasha. Rabbi came and gave the Rasha. What's the Rasha? <coughs> siyum Masechet and Laasot. Take the first letters. Siyum Masechet and Laasot. What's the letters come out? Samech, Mem, Aleph, Lamed. Look at this, Amosha, Amosha got scared. Siyum Masechet and Laasot. Samech Mem Alef Lamed. That's the name of Satan. Asaph's angel that hit Yaakov in on the Hebrew. Remember? Sama, and then we say El. Sama, 
סמך ממנה, סיום מסכת אין לעשות. סטן סס, you know what? You want to be friends with me? Learn Gemara. Learn, 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 learn. Don't do סיום. You do סיום, I'm going to be bothering you. I'm going to fight with you. Don't do it. Satan doesn't bother you much for learning the Gemara than making Siyum. Why? Why? Because once you're excited, your next Gemara learning will be with fire. Oh. He wants your excitement away. That's what you should wake up and say, Siyum, I will do first. I'm doing the Siyum first. By the way, we're holding 17 pages to finish Gemara Sota. 17 pages. We make big Siyum. Big. This time we have... 30, 25, 30 people for Siyum. We also include, guys, have we are included. Yeah, 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 don't be humble. Now, let me finish the bottom part. You grow in Torah, you say, thank you, Hashem. You finish Gemara, you say, thank you, Hashem. The thank you, Hashem, is Satan's bothering for. Malchut Darakin, Malchut Darakir. The kingdom of this world is the same kingdom in Shamayim. Like, Lahavdu. נמחיש הדבר לשבת את האוזן, לשבר את האוזן, אדם שנוסע מעיר לעיר. Now, uh, who traveled recently? Like far away? Oh, מולו דוד traveled recently, from here, for example, to Miami. Let's say, you went, you, your wife, and your two children, for example, three children. Five of you went, now you had to go to, not said, no, no, Israel. You had to go through the, uh, huh? Customs. No, no, no. Where did Tamar Jali say that? Security. Customs. Customs? And this is cool? Yeah, customs. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I thought that was different. Passport. Uh, TSA, control. passport control. Passport control. Passport control. Security. How do they check your passports? Five people at once because we are family? Or say, no, 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 one by one. one, by one. How they go? One by one. How they go? One by one. One by one, right? Uh, smile, look at the camera, take a picture, yeah. like this, like this, yeah, camera like this, uh-huh, ready, yeah, good, good. Why? All this Hashem did for what? To teach us, this is nothing. And Rosh Hashanah, every person passes by Hashem, Ovrin lefanav kivne maron. Hashem does thin, narrow pathway, and you have to go there one by one. Each one of you, each one of us, including me, Hashem checks. Hi, Yosef John, Shalom Aleichem, how are you? I want to talk to you a little bit. How did you make mitzvot this year? Did you have excitement to do mitzvot? Or you just did it because of your habit? Or you wanted to do because you just had to do? Out of anger, upsetness, or you did it with the happiness? Number two, you did sin, yeah. How did you do your sin? Also with excitement, oh, you had no choice and you did it. What did you watch? What did you speak? What did you hear? What you didn't hear? What you should have heard? What you shouldn't have heard? What did you speak? What you shouldn't have speak? Which conversation you went to? What went in, in everything person goes? But I'll tell you good news. If you did Teshuvah a month of Elul, which is now, before Rosh Hashanah, Hashem says, I forgive you no matter what you did. What sins you think people Hashem doesn't forgive? Tell me, please. What sins? What sins? Talk to me. I want doesn't to forgive? Murder. Doesn't forgive. Uh, Murder. No, 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 Hashem no. says, I no. forgive you that. Huh? Uh, sins between man and man. Sins between man. Oh, he got me. That's... Rabbi Yaza, <laughs> you are <laughs> dangerous. Hashem, it doesn't Only with the Kippurim and the death. Hashem says, Gemara <clears throat> Yoma, page 85b. The sins between you and your friends, Ben Adam Lachavero, Hashem doesn't forgive. Gemara Yoma, Pe, Pe means mouth. Pe, hey, Amud Bet. 85b. 85, Gemara Yoma talks about it. When a person does sin between you and another friend, it's a mitzvah. It's obligation to go up to him and say, I'm sorry. You have to go and you make sure he tells you, I forgive you. Can I ask you a question? Did you ever go to Ashkenazi wedding? Yes. yes. After I thought, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> you already know what I'm going to say? <laughs> what, what, what? What, what, what? What, what, what? Which one? 
Chatan stays in one place. Davidic Romaro with his heart and Kala with her mother goes around the Chatan and he prays and he prays and he prays. There was a rabbi. He took him to the side. He said, Come away, I want to talk to you. He said, I'm Sfaradi. I'm not Ashkenaz. What did you pray when your wife went around you seven times? Okay, so seven times. What did you pray for? He said, Nah, Rabbi, I don't know. Do me a favor. Can you please tell me? I want to know what you guys pray for. He said, No, Rabbi, I can't do it. I forced you to tell me. He says, Yeah, okay, I close my eyes. He says, Ze Kaparati, Ze Khalifati, Ze Temurati. She should enter into her being. And I should enter into a good, peaceful life. Tell me one thing, if Khatan made such a prayer, does he owe his apology to, the, to his wife or no? Huh? Yes. Yes. Does he owe apology really to his wife? Yeah. If, if he made it to the anniversary, yes. I mean, to himself? What do you say? She's not his father, she doesn't know. Oh, she doesn't know. Oh, she doesn't know. oh, when I want to hurt you, you don't know about that. I'm sorry? No. Oh. Because what if when you say sorry, Mahlo? now there is an argument. It's true. Do not hate your brother in your heart. That's not because I'm going to the Torah. You have to say I'm sorry. You don't have to be going to the Pratim. Right? You have to say I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? When you didn't know about it, I was cursing God from head to toe. And I, I, you have to say this, all the details. But let me say, you have to ask for forgiveness. Yes. Why? Because you spoke about him bad. You talked bad about him and you wished bad for him. You have to say I'm sorry. Yes. So bottom line is, bottom line is, a person should be very careful when it comes to Ben Adam Lachavero. When it comes between you and your friend, you have to go and apologize. And make sure if you really made him upset, you have to go apologize and ask for forgiveness. This world, I'm not going to say today, yesterday, it's from Adam Arishon already. Anytime, anytime you admit to truth, you win. A lot of times people want to say, oh, but you know, it's not my fault, it's his fault, it's not my You know for sure you made him upset. Doesn't matter who began, who finished. You made him upset, you have to come up and say, I'm sorry. You have to come up and say, I'm sorry. You did your part. If you say from the bottom of your heart three times, that's all, you don't have to go anymore today. That's all, his problem. I'm not talking about he's a rabbi, he's a rabbi, he's a Rosh Hashiva. I'm talking about simple people. Friend to friend, you went up one time, no, second time, no, third time, you said, no, that's all. All your sins went on his head. All these mitzvahs went on your head. You don't have to go to him anymore and break your head anymore. Why? Because you did from the bottom of your heart, case closed. Bottom line is, any other terrible sin, Rabbi Yosef, any other terrible sin person does, I should say, I forgive you. Terrible. Chilul Shabbat. You know, Chilul Shabbat. The whole Torah is Shabbat. He did Chilul Shabbat, I should say, I forgive you. Psst. He took, he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Hashem, I'm never going to do that again. He had never allowed it to my fault. Okay? He goes to restaurants where they serve garbage and he brings his friends with him. No, you have to eat uh, crazy. Never not. Terefa. On Yom Tov, on Shabbat, he goes. Sin! I should say, you know what? I forgive you. He did. I don't want to say those words. Znut. He did Znut openly. I should say, I forgive you. Month of Elul, before Rosh Hashanah, before Yom Kippur, you make the Shuba, you come to Hashem. I should say, I forgive you. Our job. Since we know we go to Hashem one by one, each person judge individually, our job to get it seized to our bones. Hashem, tefillah, I'll take seriously. Learning Torah, I'll take seriously. Look, look, look. You know learning Torah has to be saying with mouth. I'm speaking, you're listening. Are you considered that you are learning Torah right now or you're just listening, you get less, less? Mitzvot. Even. 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 It's even. Why? Because... because now is the time that I speak. You listen. You have question. You ask. I speak. So, 
Anytime you just go to shiur, you just even listen. That is not less divine Torah than, than I'm learning right now. I'm reading from seven. I can see you reading from seven. You understand? It's very important. Now is mitzvah divre. You are having right now kiyuma Torah, divre Torah. Rabbi Wadzir Yosef, the biggest of the biggest of our generation. He says, the angel that you create from learning Torah, the way this angel saves you, Arosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, no other angel from any chesed. You did somebody open heart surgery, you saved somebody's life. That angel doesn't have such a strong power the, the way you create the angel from learning Torah. This is how strong it is. Look at the sefers. Tell him thank you. Unbelievable. We don't have no police, no judge, yes. officer, but Torah. Torah is the guide, is the support, is the protection guarantee 100%. Month of Elul, we look at the 11th month of the year. No, it's the first month of the next year. If you do this month, foundation of Torah strong, today is not my day to give you today is Sunday. We give on Tuesdays. Why I did today? Because I couldn't give on last Tuesday, so I, I feel bad. And I did today. Memele, to your sides of Hashua people came. Rav Daniel, Rav Moshe, Rav uh, Reuven, Ruach Hashem Tenichem Bagan Eden. But I'll tell you, when we built a little strong foundation, the whole year, now whatever means what you do, you have strong building on that strong foundation. Now I want to share with you 13 steps I learned today. It's... <clears throat> You want to separate, you can separate. You want to keep it the same, keep it the same, it's fine.